Hey Pyro, if you are one of the many newbies out there who have no idea what kind of wood that you're looking for, or if you're experienced and you wanna try new kinds of woods, this video is going to really, really help you. We're gonna go through my personal favorites list of woods to burn, and we're gonna start from the bottom and work our way up to the top. So stick with me until the end, and hopefully this will help you to discover some new woods that you might not have otherwise gotten to discover. I'm Jani Lizenby, your pyro professor. Let's burn. At the bottom of my list, but still on my favorites, is walnut. And it is incredibly smooth grain, so that's really, really nice. It's also incredibly hard. Now, I'm not talking about actual scientific hardwood or softwood because that only has to do with whether it loses its leaves or has evergreen needles. I'm talking about the actual hardness or softness of the wood, like you'd find on the Jenka hardness scale. Hardwoods take a much higher heat, and I feel like they take a little bit more of my patience level. And so I, I feel like I also can't burn much subtle shading because when you add sealant to this wood, it makes it look wet. And when it's wet, this kind of wood looks dark. And when this wood goes dark, it will hide some of that subtle shading. So walnut, as wonderful as it is, it is at the bottom of my favorites list. Next up is birch, another beautiful, beautiful wood. And birch has a beautiful clear palette and it has that really gorgeous bark around the edge. It's just lovely, but it is also a hard wood. It takes that higher heat and I tend to do a lot of shading. That shading is going to take me a lot longer on harder pieces of wood. So I don't prefer that. Next up is poplar. Poplar, poplar. And these are both different cuts of poplar. This one's a little bit greener and this one's a little bit more purple. And both of them are very good to burn on. They're both soft wood, so I enjoy that. But I typically like for my shading not to be hidden by the darker purple. And I don't typically care for the green. So as much as I love poplar, it also is lower on my list, but it is the softer woods and I do prefer softer woods. Next up is cherry and cherry is lovely to burn. It's got a little bit of a redder hue to it. It's nice and it can be really amazing, but typically I prefer that lighter canvas. And so I don't typically choose cherry for that reason, but cherry has a very smooth grain. It is a beautiful piece to burn. And I do prefer cherry over walnut. It's got a much smoother feel. Then you have maple and maple is quite lovely. It's a little bit lighter than cherry and it's a little bit pinky hue to it, which I don't mind that at all. It is a hardwood and I prefer those soft woods, but this is a really nice hardwood. I feel like it's a little bit more smooth than burning walnut. It's a little more smooth for sure than burning birch. I really enjoy maple. If this video has been helpful to you, it'd be really awesome if you'd hit that like button real fast. That just lets YouTube know that I'm doing an okay job. And it helps the video get in front of other pyros who it could help. Then you have aspen. Aspen wood I think is a fascinating wood. See if you can see how interesting that grain is. And then look at this one. This one also has an interesting wood grain and neither one of them are perfectly smooth in their color, but they are perfectly smooth in their grain. The wood grain is very nice to burn. It's also like burning butter. It is so fabulous. I feel like the colorations give me a little bit of a challenge. How can I incorporate the natural wood coloring? Because I think it's just fascinating. I love aspen wood. Another one of my favorites is sourwood. Sourwood has this really beautiful blonde wood look to it. It has that coloring that shows shading really, really well. And it also has this really interesting bark. When you get live edge sourwood, it almost has scallops on the edge. And I just love it. It's very unique to sourwood. It also is harder than say your softer woods like basswood and poplar, but it's not as hard as walnut or maple or cherry or even maybe birch. It's definitely a smoother burn than birch. I love burning sourwood. Next up is beech wood. These are typically the wood spoons that I sold for a long time in my Etsy shop. They're also really good for cutting boards and things like that. It's kind of like your maple in the sense that it's a little bit pinky sometimes, but it is still very soft and it will still burn at a lower heat. And so I can burn quicker, I can burn smoother, and it is like burning butter. It is so nice. Next up is basswood. Basswood is probably one of the most popular woods for pyrography ever. 
and you can see it's got a fairly smooth grain. It has very few flecks in it. It does usually have some kind of freckles on it. Even with the knots, they tend to have a smoother wood grain than most woods out there. And so it's a really, really nice one. It is a soft wood and it is buttery smooth, delicious to burn. Number one, save the best for last, is willow. I adore burning willow. It has a very light canvas. It's got a beautiful edge to it. It is super smooth grained. It has just all the perks that I feel like wood should have. The downside to willow is it's really hard to find. You can find basswood at every craft store around town. I don't have many craft stores around town, so for me it's online. <laughs> but you can still find it everywhere online. If I want to get willow, there are only a few shops on Etsy that I have found that source willow for me. It's just hard to find, but I adore willow. I'm going to be posting a lot more videos, wood burning tips, tricks, and hacks. So if that's exciting to you, consider subscribing because I'm going to be posting more tips, tricks, and hacks like this video right over here that you'll probably want to watch next. I'm Jannie Lisenby, your pyro professor. Later, pyro.